I was never a huge fan of 3D, I have to admit, and uh, it actually made me a little bit crazy. Uh, first of all, the glasses, I already have glasses, so I don't need that other thing. And then, you know, it kind of made the screen look darker, and I just thought it was it was sort of a gimmick. And we've all seen a bunch of movies that, that used it in a way that wasn't particularly adding. So I kind of just had a grudge against it. And, uh, and then uh, we got to see some scenes from the first Star Trek film that we did that were uh, converted to 3D. And it was kind of nuts. And I sort of thought, oh, this is really kind of cool. I'd never seen a space movie like that done in 3D. And I suddenly started feeling like I understand how this could be amazing. Paramount Studios, uh, in fairness, said we really want to do that. There was an obvious economic model that, that, that they cared about. And, and I thought, you know what, I get it and I respect that. So let's just try it. And my goal was to make as good of a 2D movie as possible, but always aware of what we would need to do in 3D. And the cool thing is, they've used these new techniques that haven't been used before. We work with this great stereographer, Corey Turner, who did an amazing job, really pushing the limits and doing things you've never seen before in 3D. So for me, uh, I've gone from someone who felt like, ah, I don't want to do this, to, oh my god, that's kind of amazing, and especially in IMAX 3D. So if you can see it in that format, it's sort of the coolest possible version. <laughs>